Yeah, um, hello everyone. Um, today I'm gonna talk about uh, yeah, AIs in, um, in custom scenarios. And um, this episode I will show you a um, tool to create your own uh, AIs that is um, specifically um, suited on your scenario how you need it. Um, this is quite a useful tool. Um, you can access, uh, access this uh, via forgotnetpass.net slash AI builder and uh, here you can fill in lots and lots of parameters um, basically how many buildings they should build, which unit they should create um, how big their economy should be, uh, what the uh, economy should focus on and so on and so on and also when they attack, uh, how many units they uh, use, file attacks, which upgrades research and if they should advance or not uh, and it also has the ability to cheat, to use markets and to use the default resign or just resign when no units are left um, and after you uh, fill in all those parameters you click the button build and um, your AI gets generated so you have this uh, code here, what can you do with it so um, that is um, yeah, the tricky part of it uh, so first of all you have to copy it and um, where is it? So, oh, fail. Next try. Um, I copied everything. <laughs> so um, now you need to open the explorer um, and um, head to the um, folder where you installed Age of Empires, Age of Empires 2 HD. So it's uh, probably in your Steam folder. Um, First, yeah, it's Steam, um, Steam apps, common H2HD, and then open AI. And you have to create two uh, new uh, text files. Um, text document. And um, yeah, you name them like uh, how, how you want your AI to uh, be. Let's say it's um, test test AI, um, and the ending has to be uh, one of them has to end with AI, and. The other one has to end with PER and they also have to have the same name. Um, then you have to open test ii.per um, and you have to yeah, paste the complete AI into here and um, save it and yeah that's basically it uh, there's just one last thing you should um, yeah, you should know uh, when you do this uh, for the first time uh, some of the uh, parameters and um, methods in this AI are outsourced so you have first uh, you first have to download those additional PR files here this uh, click this link and um, yeah, paste them into your AI folder as well. Uh, then everything should work just uh, fine. And uh, I already um, yeah, built an AI, AI with this too. Um, and a scenario around it. There it is. Um, here you can see 
So if, if you um, created this AI, you can select it here. This is uh, the test AI I uh, just uh, created, and here's the cell in AI I yeah, did uh, before. And um, this basically player two plays as students. Uh, the desert has a camp, and it is attacked by some Saracens. And um, yeah, the Saracen player is um, doesn't do anything uh, unless you scouted his um, his uh, his small town. So I'll just just show you. Uh, and I'll do Marco Polo to yeah, demonstrate it. So you can see they don't really do anything. And as soon as you select that watchtower, they should start doing things. Ah, now they just, just start, start moving, get them resources. And um, yeah, first they just build up, and later they will also uh, send a text. They will um, use only cavalry, light cavalry, camels, um, mamelukes, scorpions, and rams. So no infantry and stuff. That uh, the uh, army they send are quite good for raiding and um, quite mobile. And they will also send uh, some war galleys and fire ships later on. So um, there's both naval and um, naval warfare and yeah uh, and so there's battles going on on water. So some pipeline should be quite useful. Um, and yeah, he's in field age, but I allowed uh, the AI to uh, progress to castle age, but not to appeal to make uh, things yeah not too hard. As player one has no ability to get the more resources. You see, the first scout cavalry gets produced, and around the time he's castle age, they uh, usually attack. As uh, the time is this way, uh, they also uh, have the ability with fishing ships and. Uh, also trade is the red uh, trading card um, and sometimes they uh, if you uh, allow trading and uh, allow trade boats as uh, trade cocks they even trade with opponents uh, if you don't want it you yeah, just don't have to click it um, yeah. um, the AI is not yeah, particularly strong but it also has the to cheat to achieve its goals. Um, okay, they just uh, got uh, Castle Age arrived there. And um, now they should uh, <coughs> start uh, upgrading the so Scout Cavalry and adding in some uh, Cav Archers. There's the first attack going on with one Camel and seven scouts so it shouldn't be too hard to counter Text that gets stronger and stronger um, as they search more and more technologies and um, yeah have more resources to create a bigger army. As the next attack is it's stronger than the first one, and they also attack from two angles because um, 
there were two uh, bases from which to attack. And possibly see a naval attack soon. So we hit the next army, no siege weapons yet. Yeah, I think uh, there were also too many resources for play one. Maybe more even if um, yeah, play one had like a very small economy. Not a steady uh, of resources, but um, yeah, that's up to the one who creates the scenario. Um, and now the naval attack starts uh, coming in. Um, yeah, that's basically it what I wanted to show you today. Um, hopefully you will, uh, yeah, this will be useful for you, uh, for your scenarios and, um, yeah, I think it's a pretty, uh, cool thing. It's, uh, quite useful and, um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.